This is Jill Maurer with Your Jewelry Minute, and today I'm answering the question, what is the difference between carat weight and total carat weight? These sound very similar and can be confusing, but they are very different and they make a big difference. Carat weight refers to the weight of one stone. One stone, a carat equals 200 milligrams, and it is a unit of measure for a gemstone. Total carat weight refers to the weight of a group of stones. Now, why does this make a difference? It does does make a big difference. The reason is that if you have diamonds, we'll take diamonds for example, but it could be any kind of stone. If you have diamonds that are all the same quality, they're all the same quality stone, and you have one single stone that weighs a carat, and you have four stones that together weigh a carat, the single stone that weighs a carat will be worth more. As diamonds get bigger, they not only cost more, they cost more per carat weight. And this is why it's important to know what you are buying. So if you have have a diamond, if you're looking at a ring and say it has a big diamond in the middle and then it has some little diamonds on the side, if the person says to you, this is one carat total weight, you in your mind might be thinking that that center stone, that big stone is a carat. That's not what they said. They said that the big stone and all of the little stones combined weigh a carat and that makes a difference. So if somebody says that to you, this is, this is one carat total weight, the question you want to ask is, well, how big is the center stone? You know, what is that size stone? Because you kind of want to know what really what you're getting and that is one of the ways to do it. Another time that this makes a big difference is when you're buying earrings. Even in the simplest case when you're buying two studs, two diamond studs, if somebody says to you these are one carat total weight, that does not mean that they are one carat each. One carat each would mean that the earrings have two carats of total weight. Furthermore, it doesn't even mean if they say it's one carat total weight, that doesn't even mean that each diamond is a half a carat. One could be 0.6 and one could be 0.4. And that matters because when you are pairing stones or matching stones, either if they're both in a ring or if they're both in earrings, you want them to be as similar as possible. Ideally, they would weigh the same and they would be the same quality. To take this even further, if you have a ring, say, that has a sapphire in the middle and then it has diamonds, those should be separated. They should tell you the carat weight of the sapphire and the total carat weight of the diamonds. That that shouldn't be a combined. There's no reason to say this is a you know two carat total weight ring. The sapphire and the diamonds should be separated. And even if you have say a cluster ring that has a bunch of small sapphires and a bunch of small diamonds, those should be separated as well. They should give you the carat total weight of the diamonds and they should give you the carat total weight of the sapphires. Now, one other thing, when you see carat total weight, there are other things that sometimes you might see. You might see DTW, which is diamond total weight, or DW, which is diamond weight. And those mean basically carat total weight. A jewelry tag can be a little confusing. Always ask always ask, what exactly am I looking at? And if somebody gives you carat or carat total weight, don't be afraid to say, is that all of the diamonds or is that this diamond? Break that down for me so that I can better understand. A good jeweler wants you to understand exactly what it is that you are looking at. This is Jill Maurer. This has been your Jewelry Minute. If you have a jewelry question for me, just ask me in the comments below. Until next time.